What's good everyone? World War 3 just dropped a brand new game mode and a brand new weapon. The weapon being the Deagle. It's a three weight pistol that packs quite a punch, has a lot of recoil to it, but it's a very fun and honestly quite reliable sidearm. I find myself using it the most when I'm running a sniper. It's very good to pull out in close quarters when you know that you're most likely not going to be able to quick scope somebody. And that's mostly how I use it in this video. And the domination game mode is actually quite a lot of fun too. It's basically like your normal COD or, you know, a battlefield domination game mode. It's kind of like Tac Ops, but it only has three objectives instead of five. Right now, the only way to unlock the Deagle is by doing an event challenge where you get 33 wins in Domination or I think TDM as well, and you can unlock a variant of the Deagle. Now, you can't actually unlock the bare bones version of the Deagle right now, which means you can't put attachments on it. I'm not sure why they're doing it this way. You're only able to unlock it and actually play Domination until February 8th, when it will then go away again for an unknown amount of time, and then they'll probably bring it back. I'm assuming if they're going to do another season, they're going to bring Domination and the actual pistol into the game. But as as of right now, we don't really know why they're doing it this way. I honestly don't think it was a very good idea. I think they should just fully release the weapon or not release it at all. Along with the game mode, there's no reason to add a game mode that everyone likes into a game and then take it away. Personally, I get way better FPS in Domination. Way, way, way better than Tac Ops. And it's a lot easier for me to get clips for videos this way. But that's not to say that Domination has a lot of its own issues. I'm sure a lot of people are waiting to hear me talk about this. The spawns in Domination are absolutely dreadful right now. A normal Domination in most games like Call of Duty or Battlefield all the spawns are completely based on off of what team has what objective captured and also on the position of people around the map. So let's look at an overview of the map Gobi Temple here and how the spawns work. So the way World War 3 does it is kind of like Tac Ops where you actually have a select spawn for each team and no matter what, those spawns cannot move. Now this works pretty well in Tac Ops because the spawns are so big and they're so far back in the map that the enemy team is never going to kill you or see you inside of them. But in Domination, these spawns and the maps themselves are so small. On most of the maps, you can actually see into the spawn and watch people spawn. And these spawns do not change. There is a Mercy spawn, but that's only if they have every single flag captured. You can't actually spawn on the flags. But if one team has every single flag captured, the enemy team does get a Mercy spawn spawn, but that spawn is also spawn trappable. It's kind of an absolute mess right now. Now I want to mention another YouTuber named Blue the Robot. He came up with an idea that could possibly fix the spawns. That would just be to expand them and make them bigger. A, sp A spawn is right here. C spawn is only this little tiny hallway. That's all you get. So what needs to happen is extend out basically all that. Maybe not all the way, maybe just cut it in half, but have that road that leads to this side right here and what you could do on, on the alpha side is even extend it to i know there's like the big courtyard there right where like c1 would be with the, all the little tree and shrubbery that could even lead out to the road right here so you have two road options and you just have the basic uh, you know, spawn area there. My suggestion might take a lot more work on the developer's end, but if they were able to do it right, it would work extremely well. Now I mentioned Call of Duty and Battlefield and the way that they usually do it. Now how this would work is if, let's say your team has C and B captured, but the enemy team has A captured, the enemy team would always spawn at A unless you got extremely far into their spawn. Now if you had every flag captured, it would basically turn into TDM spawns. The enemy team would start spawning randomly around the map wherever your team is not at, giving them a chance to capture another objective. But usually what most competent teams will do is they'll only capture two flags so they can keep them at bay in a certain spawn. And if your team is smart enough and not too aggressive and don't actually push into their spawn, they can control the map and end up winning the game. But they can't necessarily see into their spawn. They have to stay a certain distance back. This gives the enemy team an opportunity to move forward, but if your team is good enough, they won't be able to. As of right now, you could capture C and B, leave A open, but just maneuver around A, never capture it. So that way they can never spawn in the Mercy spawn. In theory, you can make it to where the enemy team could never even move. On certain maps, it's so atrocious to where you're even like a few feet away of watching people spawn. For example, this clip here on Moscow, they actually spawn on the stairway right in front of the out of bounds line, just a few feet away from my character. Now, now again, actually programming the game to detect where players are on the map so it can spawn people according to them, that would take a lot of work, but I think it would be a very successful strategy to fix the current spawns. And as of right now, they are actually aware of how bad it is and they're working to fix them. I'm just not sure how they're going to go about fixing them. Hopefully we'll see pretty soon here because I really, really enjoy Domination and I hope this game does well. But in its current state, there are a lot of people that are just not interested.
By the way, if you're mad at watching me spawn trap people in these example clips that I have here, I'm sorry. I I don't plan on doing this anymore, really. I only recorded these clips for the sake of this video. I can understand if you're a new player just how frustrating this must be. I can't imagine spawning into your first match ever, joining into the middle of the game, spawning in and immediately dying to a guy, staring into your spawn. I probably would not want to ever play this game again, so they need to fix this as soon as possible. The only thing that I'm worried about is the pace at which World War 3 fixes things. They are notorious slow and pretty much everything that they do so I'm crossing my fingers just hoping that they actually fix this as soon as they can I don't expect everything for every video game to come out perfect when it first comes out but honestly this is a little bit pathetic I was talking to my friend profit while we were playing this game mode and the thought occurred to me did they even play test this there's no way when they were making the boundaries to the out-of-bounds line that they didn't have a line of sight check to the spawns pretty insane to me that they would ship out a domination game mode like this in this state it's kind of weird how little attention they paid to this problem but when the spawn trapping is not an issue and the game is actually being played somewhat competitively this game mode is so much fun i love this fast-paced close quarter style of gameplay in this game it actually works very very well a lot of matches are both teams fighting over the middle objective for pretty much the entire match and it's honestly a lot of fun so yeah i hope they fix this soon let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this game mode and also what you think of the new deagle i know 33 matches or 33 wins can seem like quite a lot but honestly, it went by pretty fast for me. I got it after like a few hours of gameplay. I think it was like six or seven or something like that. Not too bad. You have until February 8th to do this now. And eventually they will bring the Deagle back into the game fully to where you can put attachments and stuff like that on it. Hopefully that comes sooner than later because I would like to see Domination and the Deagle added into the game permanently. But that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today, guys. I'm super excited to show off some of these highlights to you guys. Like I said, now that I'm getting actually really good frames when I play Domination, my clips are a lot better. It's a lot easier for me to get clips it's a lot easier for me to play well when i'm not getting you know 60 to 70 fps so i highly recommend watching the rest of this video there's some pretty crazy stuff in here and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one Oh my god. Out of ammo. Give us up. Under our control. Oh, you're dead. Oh, you're 